डॉक्टर एन ए मगदुम आयुर्वेदिक मेडिकल कॉलेज अंकली द टॉपिक ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन इज अलकली पॉइजनिंग इट इज प्रिपेर्ड बाय मेगा एस्तडॉट दैट इज मी एंड इट इज गाइडेड बाय डॉक्टर सचिदानंद वंगपतीच डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अगाध तंत्र नाव वी विल स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन द टॉपिक ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन इज अलकली पॉइजनस एंड द अलकलीज आर द सबस्टांसेस दट न्यूट्रलाइज द एक्शन ऑफ एसिड Alkalis in a concentrated form act as a corrosive poison and in diluted form they act as a irritant poison in alkali poisonous the chief poisonous are ammonia potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide am- ammonium carbonate potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate now now in a next slide we will see about a physical characters of alkali metals these alkali metals are extensively used in a commercial purposes and these most of the alkalis are occur in a white powder form in alkalis the ammonium is a colorless gas with a pungent very pungent and a choking odor ammonium hydroxide is a liquid containing about 30% of ammonia in it now we will study about the actions of alkali poisonous these alkalis are the commonest cause of a chemical burns and the hydroxyl ion produces a saponification of a fat and soluble alkaline protein proteinase cellular dehydration and exothermic reaction also takes place due to the hydroxyl ion present in the alkalis the ion passes from the molecules to molecules denaturing each in turn and burrows deeply producing a soft gelatinous liquefaction necrosis liquid alkali preparation tends to cause the less damage to the oro oro pharynx and esophagus and more damage to the stomach now in this slide we will study about signs and symptoms of alkali poisonous metals when these alkali poisonous metals are consumed it produces a caustic taste in the mouth and we will feel the sensation of burning heat in the throat and this sensation of burning heat extends from throat to the stomach and the omitted matter matters are of alkaline in a taste and they do not produce a effervescence on contact with the ground and these alkali metals are at first they will be thick and slimy and but later contains a dark altered blood and shreds of a mucosa and after the consumption of alkali metals alkali poisonous metals there will be a purging in a frequent manner and it it produces a severe pain and straining in a abdomen the motions consist of a mucus and a blood in it when these alkali poisonous metals come in contact with the skin they causes a grayish soapy and necrotic area and these strong alkalis are ingested they produces a blisters and a brownish discoloration are seen on a lips and the skin or the mouth the mucus of digestive tract is a solid soft and gray slow is readily detached lies over the inflamed tissues hemorrhage into the tissue is also seen and esophageal structure formation is a major long term complications of the alkali poisonous metals in the body now in this let's see one of the alkali poisonous metals that is sodium hydroxide it is also termed as a lye it is a strong alkaline solution that produces a transmural necrosis of the esophagus after only 1 second of contact so this is by its action we can understand that it is a such a and a strong alkaline solution and esophageal structure is a most common with the occasional perforation now in this slide we'll see about the properties of agents 
that is the different types of alkali metals and its causes or its effects on our body for example the agents like household bleaches that are sodium hypochlorite these produces esophageal irritation but rarely cause strictures or a serious injuries and the second one is detergents these detergents detergents are constitutes of a sodium tripolyphosphates these produces serious tissue injury usually mild ulceration without a stricture occurs and the drain cleaners the drain cleaners are the sodium hydroxides when this uh, sodium hydroxide are consumed this produces extensively damage to the esophagus and stomach and the last one is ammonium hydroxide 3% this causes a minor irritation but higher concentrations can cause a severe injury to the esophagus and a stomach too and in next slide we will see about the miniature button batteries now as i said earlier we will see about the miniature button batteries these contains a potassium hydroxide in it which when swallowed can cause a liquefaction necrosis following a leakage from a battery symptoms are mostly limited to gi tract only they will not produce harmful effects other than the gi tract in a most conditions now in this slide we will see about the ammonical vapors these ammonical vapors when inhaled causes congestion and watering of a eyes and it also produces a reflex action such as a violent sneezing coughing and choking and the strong ammonical vapors when inhaled may causes a sudden collapse of a person and death may occur from a suffocation and due to the inflammation and much swelling of a glottis or a later form of a pneumonia a person may die now in this slide we will see about the fatal doses the fatal doses are the minimum quantity of a dose that causes a harmful effect on the body the first one we will see about a potassium or a sodium hydroxide the fatal dose of these two is a 5 grams and potassium carbonate is of a 18 grams and sodium carbonate is of a 30 grams and fatal dose of ammonia is 5 to 10 ml and now we will see about the fatal period the fatal period is usually 24 hours of a consumption now in this slide we will see about the treatments of alkali poisoning for the alkali poisoning the demulcents are given demulcents are the substances that relieves the irritation of the mouth by forming the protective layer examples for the demulcents are egg white milk water 1 to 2 glass may be given these demulcents are given within 5 to 10 minutes of ingestion of the alkali poisoning in mild cases of the alkali poisoning the stomach is washed carefully and when the ammonia vapors are inhaled in that cases oxygen inhalation is given for the patient and the patient is kept in the an atmosphere made moist with a steam keep airway patent always because sometimes tracheotomy may be necessary and give adequate perin parenteral analgesics steroids are useful in decreasing a laryngeal inflammation and antibiotics to prevent an infection from the alkali poisoning now we'll see about the post mortem appearances that is the mark of corrosion are seen the mucous membrane of mouth throat and of pharynx etc and stomach content will be turbid blood stained and coffee color and perforations will be seen on a stomach or on a esophagus and stenosis is found at the lower end of a esophagus now in this slide we'll see at lastly about the circumstances of poisoning that is the alkali poisoning is very rare and that 
इफेक्ट मे अकर बाय एक्सीडेंटल केसेस ड्यू टू द बीइंग मिस्टेकन फॉर अ मेडिसिन एंड होमिसाइडल पॉइजनिंग इज रेयर बट फ्यू सुसाइडल केसेस आर सीन वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड समटाइम्स अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ कॉस्टिक सोडा इज थ्रोन विथ अ इविल इंटेंशन ऑन अ फेस एंड अ बॉडी ऑफ अ एनिमी पॉइजनिंग बाय अमोनिया इज मोर कॉमन देन द अदर अल्कलीज इन अल्कली पॉइजनिंग Here ends this presentation. Thank you.